Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We begin with Xavi Hernandez as the Barca boss prioritizes the signing of a new right back over any other operation. We are going to discuss on that latest development as we move ahead. Secondly, in this episode, talking about this Villarreal right back who have been linked to Barca, Juan Foy, as Barca targets Juan Foy's release clause will rise from 40 to 54 million during the last week of this window, which means Barca are trying to rush the operation, but it looks unlikely. We are also going to be discussing on that. So as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. With the summer transfer window set to conclude in just a few weeks time, Barcelona are eager to wrap up their business in the market as soon as possible. In order to compete for all the trophies up for grabs this season, Xavi has requested the board fortify the squad with new signings. And one of the positions Xavi hopes the club will definitely address is the right back position. According to Javi Miguel, Xavi Hernandez prioritizes signing a right back over any other player amid rising speculations about the return of Neymar Jr. from PSG. With seasonal deaths considered a disposable asset, and Sergio Roberto also essentially a midfielder, Barcelona currently lack a natural right back in their ranks. Why Jules Koundé continues to be Xavi's best bet at that position, the Frenchman is also far more comfortable playing in the central defence. As such, Xavi's priority is to bolster that right back spot. It doesn't come across as any surprise. Following Usman Dembele's departure, signing a right back is seen as quintessential for the coach, as their arrival would also enable Rafinha to invert centrally, where he is most effective. Barcelona have been linked with an array of right backs in the past few days. Ivan Fresneda is seen as a low-cost option and has already agreed personal terms with the Catalans, but his arrival does not generate total consensus at all within the club. Jao Cancelo is another name that has frequently been linked with FC Barcelona since his departure from Manchester City is almost certain as things stand. The Portuguese is seen as a difficult option for Barcelona due, um, due to the club's inability to match the citizens' valuation. But super agent Jorge Mendes is pushing for the deal and talks are again taking place. Pablo Maffeo of Mallorca is getting traction as an option and could be seen as the solution to Barcelona's problems on the right flank. He would arrive on a low transfer fee and may even end up being the chosen one. Time will definitely tell who Xavi Hernandez decides to put his faith in. But what is certain is that signing a right back remains the top priority. And only then would he accept any other signing. Of course, a right back has been a position that um, Barcelona have been really weak on. And of course, it was imperative that entering into this new season... Barcelona try to get at least one natural right back. Because to be honest, if this summer ends without us signing a proper right back, then I won't say the, the transfer window was a successful one. Because the right back has been one of the most um, troublesome, let me put it that way, troublesome um, spots in our roster that we haven't been able to, to strengthen over the years. And definitely... 
going into this summer, we all expected Xavi Hernandez to put that as one of his priorities into the summer. But so far, nothing has been done. We have been just talking and talking and talking, as Barca always do best, bringing in the reports at the end, nothing happens. But we just hope that that shouldn't happen again. Um, we have been linked with a handful of players, and we have been talking about Jao Cancelo being the Javi's preferred option, We're talking about Ivan Fresneda, who has been um, sporting director Deco's top option, but that general consensus is not there in terms of Xavi, not into that as a possibility for the right back position. And also recently, we have been talking about this Mallorca right back, Pablo Maffeo, um, who is far more cheaper than the others, right? So at the end of the day, rather than ending the summer window without any right back signing, definitely we can go for Pablo Maffeo. I don't know his abilities, but if Barca are showing interest in him, then uh, maybe he has something special. I'm just saying that if Barca can't afford Jao Cancelo during the last minute of this window, rather than going out of this transfer window with nothing, better we get Pablo Maffeo in the squad. I think that's just my own opinion because we need a right back. Then secondly, second story of discussion, talking about um, Juan Foyt. FC Barcelona continue to search for new signings and the hunt for a right back is well on the way with the right back position being the most immediate concern for Xavi Barca have shortlisted an array of players they see as worth pursuing Barca are in a number of players that are suited to play in this position and Juan Foyt has been one of the candidates shortlisted although Barca has set the sights on the Argentine World Cup winner with Xavi particularly holding him in high regard, Barca are bound to face ample difficulties in the events they pursue his signing. According to AS, VRL have essentially closed the door on any negotiation for Foyt this summer. Earlier today, it was reported that the 25-year-old had informed the Yellow Submarine that he wants to leave the club for Barcelona. Following that, there was an expectation that VRL could leave some room to negotiate, but that has not been the case. As per the report, Foy's release clause stands at 40 million euros currently and will rise up to 54 million during the last week of this transfer window, and VRL have absolutely no intention of negotiating for a lower fee. After bidding farewell to a number of important figures of the club such as Paul Torres, Nicolas Jackson and Samu Chukweze, the Yellow Submarine claim that they have already made enough sales and they are not interested in sanctioning additional departures. So with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.